Hi, Tamara here. Welcome to my channel. We are going to have some fun with makeup today. I have a full face of all new to me affordable drugstore makeup. And what makes this even more special is it is a collaboration with my beautiful friend Kimberly, who has the channel Pretty Over 50. Now I'm sure most, if not all of you, are very familiar with Kimberly because she has certainly hit the YouTube mature beauty community by storm. You know, she started her channel a couple of years ago. She had been traveling for a few years and came home and looked in the mirror and thought, oh my gosh, I've got to do something about my skin. She had not been taking care of her skin. She had not been using sunscreen. And so she made it her mission to do the research and explore affordable skincare products to see if she could make a difference in her skin. And she started her YouTube channel to document that journey. And oh my gosh, what a transformation she has made over the last couple of years. You know, she was 61 when she started her channel. That's another thing I love about Kimberly is we're the same age. She was 61 when she started her channel. And in spite of the fact that she is now two years older, her skin has really transformed and improved since two years ago. She is so prolific of a creator. She uploads several videos a week. She does live streams, lots of skincare, lots of affordable get ready with me's. She's such a cool lady. We have enjoyed getting to know each other. I absolutely adore her. And I am thrilled that we are doing this collaboration together. So we came up with the idea of we would each recommend a full face of affordable drugstore cosmetics for the other person. So she made a list for me and I made a list for her. And some of our recommendations are some of our tried and true favorite products. And other of our recommendations are products that we had been interested in but hadn't tried yet. So Kimberly sent me her list. I did all my shopping. It was super fun to shop for a full face of makeup. I had actually never done that before. I can't wait to see her video to see how she likes my recommendations. Anyway, if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. We are going to get into a full face, all new to me, drugstore cosmetics. And we are going to do that right now. All right, let's jump right into it. I typically don't use a primer under foundation, but because the foundation that Kimberly chose for me is a little bit of a more of a matte finish, I wanted to make sure to use a glowy primer. So Kimberly told me to choose any Revlon primer that I wanted. So I chose the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. And what Kimberly had to say about the Revlon Photo Ready Primer she says, I've loved so many primers from Revlon and I'm really curious about this one. If you love it, I'm going to buy it. Well, Kimberly, I really do love it. I have tried this a few times. You have to give it a good shake and it comes in this sort of dropper, comes in a dropper and I'm gonna use a generous amount you can see it's a little runny and a little bit opaque. Rub it between your fingers to break up the oil beads and then apply generously on the face. And I am applying this everywhere. Under the eyes. And you can see it does not give, you know, like a highlighted look, but it does add a little bit of glow to the skin. So that is the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Primer. I really enjoy this. Then of course, I have to use a corrector for my inner corner dark circles as well as my under eye dark circles. A corrector of some kind is indispensable for me in my makeup routine. And Kimberly recommended that I try the Catrice um, Camouflage Cream Peach Corrector. This is called Wake Up Effect comes in a little cream format. It is very hydrating. It's very slippy. It's much more slippy and hydrating than my Pixi Peach Corrector. But I am going to show you how the color compares to the Pixi Peach Corrector that I've talked about so many times. So here is the Catrice Corrector and here is the Pixi Corrector. You can see the Catrice is more pink toned 
more light and pink toned and the pixie is a little bit more peach toned i apply it with my real techniques deluxe crease brush this is just the perfect size and shape to fit into that dark inner corner so i just get a little on my brush and i just pat it into that dark inner corner and i only apply the corrector on the blue areas you know, the idea with a corrector is to use minimal product to neutralize and cancel out the blue tones, making it so I don't need as much concealer and maybe I don't need any concealer because if I didn't have a corrector, it would take quite a bit of concealer to cover up my dark circles. And of course, the more product we put under our eyes, well, for me, it just highlights the bad stuff. Anyway, so I am just applying that. I'll, I'll put a little bit on the lid and then I'll use the warmth of my finger to just sort of press it in. Same thing on the other side. I just love this Real Techniques crease brush. Just fits that inner corner so beautifully. All right, so that is the Catrice Corrector. You know, it's been really fun to try a few Catrice products. I had never tried Catrice before. It is very, very affordable. It is cruelty free and super high quality. So I will be sharing a few more Catrice products as we go through this um, Get Ready With Me. Catrice Camouflage Cream Corrector is a winner. I am enjoying it. All right, now it's time for concealer. And Kimberly recommended the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage high coverage concealer lasts 12 hours and here is what kimberly had to say about this concealer i've heard amazing things about this concealer fingers crossed all right so i have played around with this concealer a little bit it is high coverage it is a little bit mattifying i need a very 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 tiny amount under my eyes um, but because it is mattifying and because it is high coverage and long lasting for me i love to use it as an eyeshadow primer and so that is what i'm going to do i think this will be a really good affordable replacement for the estee lauder double wear stay in place concealer that i have been using as an eyeshadow primer so again i just put a little bit on my eyelids take my same real techniques deluxe crease brush and I am going to apply that all over the lid to neutralize the darkness on my eyelids. I'm gonna do both sides and whatever is left on the brush, I just pat over the corrector. Like I said, I really, really use a very, very minimal products under my eyes but I think that did a really nice job. Okay, so we have corrected and we have concealed and we have primed and now it is time for foundation. Now, I was a little nervous about this one. Kimberly recommended the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation Mattifying Second Skin Effect lasts up to 24 hours. Couple of things scared me about this. It is high coverage and it is mattifying. Okay, let's see what Kimberly had to say about this. This is one of my 2020 favorites. Looks like skin, you just need a little bit for the entire face and she is so right about that. So I am gonna give this a really good shake. Now I have played with this foundation a little bit. The first day I wore it, I applied it with a brush and I applied too much Ah, uh, it didn't, you know, you have to go light with this. A little goes a long way. It is very, very pigmented. And I'm in the color 030 Sand Beige. I got a perfect color, which I was really happy about. And you can see it is very, it's runny. It's pretty runny. It's very thin. And my preferred method of application is definitely a damp sponge. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my sponge and we are going to go to town and get it on the face. All right. 
there is half my face done and I think you can see it definitely had a little bit of a perfecting effect like I said I applied a very light layer now you can build it up but I really do prefer more of a medium coverage over a full coverage so I am not going to build it up but it has a really pretty skin like finish it is a little bit mattifying but it is not a flat matte I don't know if you can tell but it did a nice job of covering up some of my pink and I really do like this it is definitely a long lasting foundation so I am going to do the other side I am going to use a brush just to bring it down my neck a little bit. I'm going to take this buffing brush and just make sure I bring it down my neck very softly. It really is a good color match for me. Okay, there is the foundation. Catrice HD High Coverage Liquid Foundation Long Lasting. I like this. I really was scared because it was mattifying and because it was full coverage, but I really do like it. And I think it's going to be extra wonderful in the summertime when there's more heat and humidity and you need a little bit longer lasting. I also think it would be a really great foundation to mix in with other foundations to give them perhaps either a little bit more coverage or a little bit longer wear or cut down if you find yourself with a foundation that is way too glowy. This is a winner and it is so affordable at around $10. All right, so there is the foundation. And one other thing about this foundation, I don't feel the need to powder it at all. So I am not going to be using any finishing powder or any setting powder today at all. I think the finish is just beautiful. And Kimberly recommended cream bronzer and cream blush for me. So we're not gonna be using any setting or finishing powder today. Let's go on to bronzer. Kimberly recommended the Physician Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. This is a cream bronzer stick. And I'm gonna show you how it compares to my other cream bronzer, which is the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer. So here is the Physician Formula Cream Bronzer in the color Toffee. And here is the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer. You can see the Physician Formula Bronzer is just a little bit more warm. And I will also say the, cream, the Physician Formula Cream Bronzer is a little bit creamier. I am going to be using a Real Techniques contour brush. I'll go in with a brush and apply it that way. I'm going to go in really light because I am not going for a sun-kissed look. I am just trying to warm up my face a little bit. That went on really easy and really pretty. Extremely blendable. Um, like I said, I'm going very, very lightly. But I really do like the Physician Formula um, Cream Contour Bronzing Stick. Very, very nice. All right, time for one of my favorite types of products, and that is blush, and Kimberly recommended the e.l.f. Putty Blush. And I purchased this in the color Tahiti. This is a beautiful, slippy, very creamy formula. Oh, it feels so nice. And let's see. There is the color. I love the color and it blends beautifully. It's very soft and very blendable. And when I purchased the e.l.f. Putty Blush, I also purchased the e.l.f. Putty Primer Brush. I thought this would be perfect for application, and it is. Look at how perfectly that fits in there. And I am just pressing that onto the skin. It is a sort of a sheer formula, which I like. It is buildable. Look at how pretty that is. Very easy to blend. Not overly pigmented, but definitely buildable. I love this color Tahiti. You see that? Really pretty. 
get the other side on. I always put my blush high up on my cheek to sort of lift. We always want to lift our face up, right? Counteract the downward pull that we all experience. That is really, really, really pretty. Very, very slightly glowy. Um, beautiful consistency, highly blendable. This is a winner. It comes in tons of colors. I love it. Now Kimberly recommended a highlighter and you know me, I'm a little bit highlighter shy, but she recommended the Revlon Skin Lights. Look at how pretty that is. Let's see what Kimberly has to say about the Revlon Skin Lights highlighter. Kimberly says, I bought this too because I've heard so many fabulous reviews. Oh, okay. Look at that. Now, when I do a finger swatch, it scares me a little bit because it is very, very, very gleamy. Very gleamy. But when you go on very lightly with a brush, it has a really pretty effect. So I am using the e.l.f. blush brush and I am just tapping into this highlighter. Tap it off and I'm going to go in very softly because for me, I find that if I use too glimmery of a highlighter, it can accentuate lines and wrinkles. But since this is a more of a mattifying foundation, I'm really glad to have a really beautiful highlighter. So we are just going to pat that onto the very high point of the face. Even though the swatch looked super gleamy, it goes on nice and soft and you can build it up. Again, just the high points, a little bit on the apple of the cheek. I think that gives the cheek a nice little lift. A little bit up here. Uh, and I do like just a little bit on the bridge of the nose. I don't do the tip of the nose. I don't know. I'm just not into that thing. I'm not into that tip of the nose look, but I like a little bit on the bridge. Very, very soft, pretty highlighter. I really like it. You know, like I said, I was scared when I first tried it because it looks super, super gleamy, but it goes on really nice and soft. And I think it is gorgeous. So that's another winner. Kimberly has come up with some great recommendations. All right, so let's do eyes next. You know I always tight line my upper waterline and Kimberly recommended an eye pencil. This is the L'Oreal La Liner. Okay, Kimberly says, this is my new go-to liner. Stays put, doesn't transfer. Perfect, love that. I got this in a color called Brown Denim it is a twist up, which I also like because I don't enjoy sharpening liners. As usual, I always tight line my upper lash line. What I do is I gently close my eye onto the liner and I just rub the liner back and forth under and into the eyelashes. All right, tight lining always makes such a huge difference. Tight lining makes the eyelashes look thicker and it gives the eyes more definition without having a heavy eyeliner on top. The L'Oreal Le Liner is definitely an affordable drugstore winner for tight lining. I love it. I also bought it in a navy blue, which I'm also enjoying. Eyeshadow. Kimberly recommended the um, Catrice Basic Bay Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Very affordable, very neutral eyeshadow palette. Look at those colors. There's several mattes, there's several shimmers. The mattes blend beautifully. The shimmers are very, very soft and easy on mature eyes. Now, this does lean slightly warm, um, but there are some nice neutral and even a couple of cooler tones. All right, so let's see what Kimberly has to say about the Basic Bay eyeshadow palette. She says, I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this palette. 
I've been eyeing it for a while. So I'm super excited to dip into this. I'm gonna keep the look super, super simple today. We're gonna to go in with the Real Techniques Fluffy Blending Brush and I'm going to go into this cream colored ivory and we are just gonna use that to sort of set that concealer, pre-highlight the brow bone and just put a nice base for the other colors to blend into. Very soft, very pigmented. Not, not much fallout at all. Okay, probably can't even see that because it is pretty close to my skin color. But that is a really nice cream colored, very pigmented matte, which I really enjoy. Then I'm going to use another of my favorite Real Techniques brushes. This is called the Instapop, um, what is it? Instapop eyeshadow brush. It is a flat, small shader brush. And I am going to go into um, this color here. It's sort of a champagne, slightly pinky shimmer. And I am going to put that on the inner corner, inner half of my eye, inner corner highlight. I am doing a really, really, really simple look today. It's almost a one eyeshadow look. Then I'm gonna take that same brush and I am going to go into, what is that called? You know, all the names of this eyeshadow palette are hashtags. And so I'm gonna go into this bronzy brown taupey shimmer. And this is called hashtag WCW. I have no idea what that means because I'm old. And I am applying that really all over the lid. I'm gonna apply it outer corner, a little bit over what I've just applied. I'm gonna go slightly above the crease. Even though it is technically a shimmer, it is a very soft shimmer and I feel like it works just fine in the crease. And then I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that right into the crease. Same thing on the other side. Taking it in the outer corner, sort of over half the lid. Gosh, that's pretty. You know, it's amazing what you can do with just one color. If you blend out the edges like that, it looks like you have sort of a complicated eye look on. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that same color under just in the outer corner, just a little bit on the outer corner connecting. Outer corner connecting. Okay, so that is the very, very simple and easy eyeshadow look. Um, I'll swatch the two colors that I used. There is the pinky shimmer that I used on the inner corner, and there is the darker brown satin that I used on the outer portion and a little bit up into my crease and yes it is a shimmer but it is a very soft satin and it does work perfectly in the transition area this palette has a beautiful formula very gorgeous warm leaning tones i am looking forward to playing with this a lot more Catrice Basic Bay Eyeshadow Palette is a great affordable drugstore eyeshadow palette. Eyebrows. Kimberly recommended a really interesting eyebrow product. It is the Maybelline Brow Extensions Fiber Pomade. And here is what she says. This is what I've been using lately. It really does seem to fill in my brows and add volume. I need volume. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. This is an interesting product. It is a sort of a crayon, and it's a little bit waxy, sort of like a pomade. And apparently it does have some fibers in there to thicken the brows, so I haven't played extensively with it. And you know, brows are always challenging for me. I got the color Soft Brown, and I'm just going to use this to sort of fill in that tail. I'm just going to see. This is a very interesting product. I don't think I've ever tried a product quite like it. I do 
I have enjoyed pomades in the past, but you usually apply those with a brush. This seems to be sort of a combination of the pomade and a pencil with a little bit of holding power. So what do you think? I think it did just fine. It's a really nice color match. I'm going to finish the other brow. Okay, brows are done. This is a cool product. I really like it. Although, uh, I think I still need to use just a little bit of my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow just to give a little fluffing effect and to help my brows stay in place. So I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny bit of that on. Okay, I had to use just a tiny little bit of my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow just to help my brows stay in place. My brows can be pretty all over the place and this really does help them stay in place. This is a nice combination. It might be my new go-to. Okay, mascara. Kimberly recommended the L'Oreal Age Perfect Magnifying Mascara. And let's see what she says about this. My daily big long lashes go to formula. Okay, so Kimberly did not recommend an eyelash primer. So I'm going straight in with mascara, which is very unusual for me. And of course, as we apply mascara, we wiggle it into the lash, the lash line, right? To thicken. And let's just see what kind of length and volume we can get here without primer. Nice. It's really pretty. You know, it's not a super thick formula. Um, no clumping, no glopping. Definitely gives length and volume. I think I would still use an eyelash primer under it though, just because that's my habit. But this is a beautiful mascara. You know, you can't go wrong with any L'Oreal mascara in my opinion. They just make amazing drugstore mascaras. As you know, I have been using the L'Oreal Voluminous for many, many years and I absolutely love it. Okay, there is the mascara. This gave me some really nice length and volume without an eyelash primer. L'Oreal Lash Magnifying Mascara. It's a winner. All right, we're on the home stretch. On to lips. Kimberly recommended the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner. And here is what she says about the LA Girl. She says, this is one of my favorites. Super affordable, great colors, wonderful formula. Let's get some of this lip liner and lipstick on and we'll be all done. Okay, nice. You know, really nice formula, great color. I will link the, of course, all the products will be listed and linked below, but I will list the color of this lip pencil below. Okay, now lipstick. Kimberly told me I could get any Maybelline lipstick that I wanted because according to Kimberly, Kimberly says, hands down, Maybelline offers my favorite lip products. Affordable, lots of color options, and so good. So I got the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon. This is really a cool product. It is literally an ink crayon. It is supposed to be long lasting. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. You know, with this type of product, you almost would not need to have a lip liner because it has a very um, pointy, you know, end. And it is, I wouldn't call it a matte. Is this a matte finish? It feels very creamy and moisturizing, but not glossy. Super Stay Ink Crayon. Okay, so it is a long lasting lipstick, which is awesome. All right, that is a full face of affordable drugstore makeup. Super fun. Kimberly gave me some amazing products to try. There is not a product in here that I did not enjoy. I do have a few favorites and we will go through that. Of course, I really enjoyed the Catrice Corrector. You can't have too many correctors. 
Um, it does not replace my pixie corrector, but it is a great addition to my corrector wardrobe. It is really nice and hydrating. I also loved the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I can't wait to try more colors. This is such a creamy, beautiful, hydrating, blendable, pretty formula and so very affordable. E.l.f. Putty Blush is a winner. Um, gosh, there's so many things. Okay, the, uh, the other product I'm super happy to have in my collection is the Maybelline Color Stay Lip Crayon. This is a great, long-lasting, but not drying and not matte formula. You know, I had actually never tried any Maybelline lippies before, so I'm gonna be trying some more Maybelline lippies because Kimberly says they make really great products. And if this is an example of how great their products are, I am in. The other winner is definitely the Catrice Basic Bay Eyeshadow Palette. Beautiful formula, some mattes, some shimmers, very soft shimmers, very blendable. I would highly recommend this. I like it a lot. Okay, we did it. We got through a full face of all new to me drugstore products recommended by the beautiful Kimberly. Kimberly, you knocked it out of the park. You recommended some really wonderful products for me. Thank you so much for that. And I cannot wait to see how Kimberly likes the products that I recommended for her. So, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. Make sure you go see how Kimberly likes the products that I recommended. And with all that being said, I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you in the comments section. And I can't wait to see you in my video next Sunday. Thank you. Bye.